Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, I want to explain you one concept in the pipes that is nothing but change detection strategy. How the change detection strategy in the pipes actually works. Let's try to understand about this. As this concept, as this concept is a very important one, we need to understand about this one. Pipes normally these are often used with data bound values that might change based on the user actions. Normally the data if the data is a primitive data input value such as string or a number or an object reference as input such as date or array, Angular executes the pipe whenever it detects a change for the value. So for example let's say that here um, let's say that if you are having a value something like a string number like this these are primitive data values right so if you are having this one so whenever a change detection happens in the template automatically the pipe will be executed and also the reference the array reference value has been changed for an object or an array means then also the change detection strategy will work that is a common thing so that is nothing but what i want to tell you is it's nothing but uh, the exponential uh, what which we have learned it so this exponential strength greet and all those things whenever it changes the pipe will be executed so that's fine so here the exponential strength pipe executes each time whenever the user changes the value or the exponent. Angular detects the each change and immediately runs the pipe. So that is common thing. This is fine for primitive input values. However, if you change something inside a composite object, for example, if you are having an object, if you try to change inside an object such as the month of the date or an element in an array or an object property, then you need to understand how change detection works and how to use an impure pipe. Here we need to use an impure pipe. I will try to tell you, explain you the simple example. Angular actually, Angular looks for changes to the data bound values in a change detection process that runs after every DOM event, every keystroke, mouse move, timer, tick and server response. So now which I will be trying to explain you, which doesn't use a pipe, demonstrate how you, Angular uses its default change strategy to monitor and update its display. For example, let's say that. Mm, I will remove this one entire thing. So let's say that I am having a simple uh, label. Okay, label I am having, and here I want to enter new hero name. Okay, so this is the hero name which I want to enter it. Now here I will have an input type is equal to text, and I will give a template reference uh, local template reference here, and uh, mm, what I will try to do is so whenever the user presses key up dot enter so whenever he presses enter then i want to add this hero into the value so here i will use something like box dot value and immediately what i will try to do is i will try to make box dot value is equal to empty okay so i will try to make it this one as an empty that's it and here i will be having a placeholder placeholder is equal to enter hero name so this is the simple example now let's go to here and here i will be having an heroes variable that is nothing but name string and can fly so values so here i will be having a method that is nothing but add hero and in this one you will get the value as an hero value that is nothing but string and now what i will try to do here i will try to push this dot hero heroes.push off um, what it will happen um, let's say that um, name of hero and can fly i will use a can fly option and it should be true that's it so this hero i am trying to push it so fine so in our app component.html when you try to see the output for this one so here in this do i will have a value i will loop i will loop over this each value there is nothing but hero of heroes and I will give an example track hero.name and in this one I will show one do and here you will be having hero.name okay that's it so now whenever you try to refresh this page so whenever you add and enter so automatically that value will be displayed at the bottom fine so now I want to show only the you only the heroes who can fly. So for those things, what I can do it is I will create a new pipe for this one. So here I will create a, uh, create a new file that is nothing but. Um, so here I will create a new pipe that is nothing but flying. Just I will try to create flying heroes dot pipe dot ts file. 
so now here I will have export class flying heroes pipe implements implements pipe transform okay so this is our method and at the top we need to have a grid pipe okay and here you will be having standalone oh sorry this should be this is executed pipe yeah this is the pipe which we need to use it so from not from rxjs yeah so standalone it should be true and the another one is name name it should have flying heroes this is the name so that's it so now here you will be having this transform method so here i will be adding this transform method there is nothing but transform so this is the value which it is trying to take it the value is nothing but the heroes so you will be getting the heroes and here this one will be something like a name of type string and can fly of type boolean and this is an array that's it so now here i need to return the heroes dot filter okay i will filter the each value and here i want to send the hero who can fly that's it okay that's it so now here in our app component yes i am adding all the true but i am training i am sending so here heroes it should be filtered with it. here you can have something like this and here i can have flying and this one needs to be imported so in order to get this one so here i can have flying heroes pipe and now in our html you can have flying heroes that's it so fine so now hopefully everything is working but if i try to press enter now we are not getting any value why because so here the entire array object is not entire the array is not changing only the part of the array is changing because of this one only the part of the array is changing means so then the, for the angular it will be difficult for it to find which of the object has been changed if the entire object reference the reference has been changed means then the pipe can able to identify it but here the pipe cannot able to identify it so for this one what we can do it is so we can do one thing something like you can have these all heroes in one variable okay this dot heroes and here we will push that heroes into this one and at the last what i can do it is this dot heroes so that means i am trying to change the reference for this object now here if you try to see the output for this one so this time the output will work without any so the output will be working only the flying heroes you are able to get it through the pipe so why because so this one we are trying to change the entire reference so this is one thing which you need to understand so the change detector ignores the changes within the elements of an array so that's why that is the reason the pipe doesn't run the reason angular ignores the changed array element is that the reference to the array hasn't changed so here the reference entirely we are changing previously the entire the reference is not changing because the array is the same the memory location is the same so that is the, that is the reason angular does not update the display one way to get the behavior is you want to is to change the object reference itself which we have did it right now replace the array with a new array containing the newly changed items and then input the new array with to the pipe in the preceding uh, so here in this example we have created array with new here appended and we can assign it to the heroes so that is one thing so now if you want to detect these composite object changes means then what we need to do it is so here let's say that the old one only we are having so now if you want to detect those changes means then what we need to do so we so this one is nothing but the pipe is not pure why because it, if the if the if the memory location and all those things reference is changed only then only the pipe can able to execute so to execute a custom pipe after a change within a composite object such as the changing to an element of an array you need to define your pipe as impure to detect the impure changes angular executes an impu impure pipe every time it detects a change example every keystroke or the mouse event so here every keystroke or mouse event whenever it happens it will try to execute this pipe so now what we need to do important while an impure, impure pipe can be useful be careful using once a long running impure pipe could dramatically slow down your application make a pipe impure by setting it as pure flag to false so here in this one so we need to make it as an pure to false that's it so now this one will be 
helpful. Now the following code which shows the complete implementation of the five flying heroes impure pipe which extends of fly heroes pipe to any the cat. The example shows that you don't have to change the anything else. The only difference is setting the pure flag as false in the example. So now if you try to see the output for this one, so now here you will be able to get the same output. So whenever the keystroke happens or any user action happens, immediately this pipe will be executed. So that is one thing which you need to understand. So that is the that is the concept about the impure pipe. Hope you understood about this impure pipe, how the impure pipe will be working in the angular. So hope you understood about this one. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.